that's fine. Are they open? Tuesday to Friday. Didn't say that on Yelp. Here we are at Southside RV Park in Dillon. We are in space number six, 50 amp, full hookup, pull through. She was able to do this for us in a four day notice. Uh, we are in the shade. We've stayed here in this park three years ago. I think this was my fifth or sixth stop. And I love this park. It's, 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 we're perfectly leveled left and right. No blocks needed. I do have to spray because there are lots of creeks and rivers around Dillon. In fact, there's a creek that runs through this RV park. And look at this, there's a little caravel that's parked next to us. Adorable. They got over 2021 because it's got the different hitch and they don't have any sway bars. Interesting. It makes it a lot easier to hitch and unhitch. Birds chirping. There's the freeways right over there. You can see it. And yet, we don't hear a thing. It's wonderful. I highly recommend this park. And it's all gravel. There's no dirt anywhere. And here's the... It's like right across the way here is the creek. I know the mosquitoes aren't coming from here because it's not a stagnant creek. The water is flowing. It just runs through their property. Isn't that beautiful? Restrooms are over there and from my last time they were clean and we are in the process of doing laundry. Garbage cans right there. And she has 40 sites. Or this couple does. And they keep the park very well maintained, manicured and clean. There's no trash anywhere. The only debris that's on the ground are grass clippings or twigs from trees or leaves. Really nice park. Highly recommend this park again. And they do also have restrooms over there in that brown building, which is where the laundry room is. We are at Sparky's Garage Bar and Grill here in Dillon, Dillon, Montana. And this is where we're gonna have dinner tonight. 
and we I did have have dinner here last time so I'm hoping that it's good and here's Walter dancing Walter's dancing These are cheese curds. How are they, Walter? I haven't had one yet, but I will. Are they hot? They are warm and delicious. Warm and delicious. And the napkins here are shop rags. Shop rags. Like from an auto repair shop. <laughs> All right, I ordered a half rack of ribs and it's humongous potatoes shoestring onions comes with cornbread and that's cheese curds cheese curds fried with cheese curds Wisconsin cheese and Walter ordered an appetizer of nachos that's an appetizer with look pulled how, pork on it look how big this plate is <laughs> Here we are at the park that we did not stay at. Beaver. I don't even know what it is. It's Beaver something RV park in Dillon. It's all 30 amps. There are mosquitoes everywhere here. I'm so glad I sprayed. If you're here, make sure you spray. There are mosquitoes just everywhere. There are swarms over there. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. It looks like there is sewer. Water in, water out. However, it's all 30 amps. Every... And they had a power outage yesterday. I feel so sorry. Sorry, it's gonna be in the mid-90s today. So hopefully they've got their electrical all straightened out. Love your car. I love that car when we had it. Well, I'm ready to get a new one. Oh, okay. <laughs> intrepid, Dodge Intrepid. Very roomy, it had good power. Pull through, oh, but it's back to back. Utilities, which I, I can't stand these. Can't stand these parks where it's back to back utilities. I'm so glad we didn't stay here. Here's the road, the dirt road, <laughs> with a paved trail. <laughs> the trail is paved, yet the road is dirt. <laughs> and we are going to the spring, Sacagawea Spring. This is where they got their water from.
Now I want you to notice that it's a paved path, yet a dirt road. A dirt road. road. <laughs> That's not as much pavement. <laughs> yep. I see someone's been sneaking my window higher and higher. <laughs> I've been noticing. That wasn't, okay. that wasn't me. It wasn't you. It was not me. Oh. I know who it is, but I'm not going to fib. That's okay. <laughs> it doesn't bother me one way or the other. <laughs> Oh, it smells wonderful up here. Yeah. It's oh. You have, you have. Oh. It's beautiful. Careful of the potholes. So this is where the Missouri starts? Oh, so this is really the headwaters. The beginnings of the endless Missouri. This is what Lewis would call the ultimate headwater of the Missouri River. Terry. Where is he? Terry. McGee. McGee. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what Lewis called, but... A geographer would tell you this is not the ultimate. The ultimate extent of the Missouri River is further south of Dillon in uh, the Centennial Valley. And that's what they would consider the ultimate end of the Missouri River. Come on, it's a nice little babbling book. <laughs> We are in the town of Bannock. It's a 
pseudo ghost town like Calico is essentially or what was that other city that Beatty or Beatty, Beatty something? Beatty anyway. The state essentially bought the town out and told the people that they had to move. So there's about 60 plus structures here. And I will pan around. They're all open for public viewing. gonna walk to the hotel or what used to be the county chair seat until Dylan took it <sighs> oh there's furniture in this one Spinning on the, um... okay. we might go back to that Okay, we're gonna go to the schoolhouse in the brick building. Here's the old schoolhouse. If you notice the chairs are different heights or the different grades. Okay, enough about children. Okay, we're not going in, I'm hot. Going back to stand in the shade. That used to be the County court, county seat. It got moved to Dillon and then it turned into Hotel Mead. All right, that's as much of the town as we're gonna see. We're gonna go into this one because it looks like it has furniture. Well, that's not much of an insulator. <laughs> no wonder they froze to death. It's just, it's just cloth. The floor is not level. The floor is not level. Okay, I need to get out of here. It stinks in here.
It looks great. I haven't tasted it yet. Okay. But we will. Thank you. What are all these? Are they, are so they labeled? Oh, they are labeled. Yes. Okay. We have Never two mind. original, one hot sassy, and one honey barbecue. Okay. All right. Enjoy. You're welcome. Oh, ball. I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. Try the original barbecue. Put on the side. Oh. Okay, this is hot and sassy. That's good. Oh. Oh my God. You said two. Save them for now. Okay. This is the hot. <laughs> Not hot. Spicy. Original. Mm. Original is pretty good. This is delicious. This is dry rub. Half rack. Pork. Pork ribs. Delicious. It was playing and fell on the floor. That was a fabulous sound. She told the kid to stop doing it several times, but the kid didn't and then finally fell. So you have to learn these lessons and it's the best way. Shoestring onions are good. So is the mashed potatoes. Oh my god, everything's delicious so far. Now let's try the cornbread. Delicious. Okay, then over to me. My pulled pork nachos are fantastic. I've never had pulled pork on nachos before. It works beautifully. The salsa 
I don't know if it's bottled or fresh. It's fantastic. It's perfect for this. So uh, the nachos actually have corn, onion, let, uh, guacamole, tomato, uh, and I think there's a little bit of olive in here too. But it's it, fantastic. Couldn't be better. So the food here is outstanding. Thank you. Another text. Now seven o'clock. Okay. Please, the electrical is not complete. So they started having issues at five o'clock, five thirty. This was the appetizer nachos with pulled pork. I mean, that's a meal in itself. I, mean, no, I wasn't the, really hungry, so I thought an appetizer The pork ribs right are delicious. Are they? They're delicious. Wait, I... Do you want to try a fried cheese curd? Oh, oh my God, Go yes. for it. Oh, just, thank you. Oh, I love just, fried cheese curd. I mean, it's more than more than we can handle. Oh. Now you can bring said, You and Gloria to see because you didn't want to disturb our dinner. Now, we are, what are we doing? Oh, no, we... Keep eating. <laughs> we already came over. So... <laughs> Well, we love you guys, but you know, we, there's, a, there's a fine line between disturbing somebody's dinner and saying hello. And, yeah. You know, it's just, you try to not cross yeah. a line, but... We can come back tomorrow night and get that, because that looks absolutely fabulous. It, it's... <laughs> it's just nachos. It's, it's just their appetizer nachos, but, but look at wonderful. this. And it's yeah. a little chicken or... For two. Yeah. 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 And the sauce is fabulous. Oh. This is okay. Well, maybe. Hey, I won't have to cook again tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Right? Okay. Yes. Uh, 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 we'll we'll leave, we have to leave at 8. We'll leave at 8 to be there by 8.30. Yeah, and we'll be there probably at 8.15. Yeah. 